hey there today we are going to discuss how to create as a functions through visual studio 2022 let me create a new project let me search a function template i just choose the function template i will get the appropriate name I will create I give the name okay as data hub dot functions then I will move next the first thing it's saying uh, which kind of uh, like .NET core version you need I'm choosing a .NET core 6.0 which has the long term support second thing is saying like which kind of trigger you want to build like in the other function apps we, we we have multiple kind of triggers like http trigger these triggers will uh, like call over like uh, over the http verbs like get post kind of thing then second uh block trigger like uh, uh, whenever in the other blocks new file is inserted or deleted we can fire some portion of uh, code or like timer trigger after some specific interval we can we have to run some piece of code or we have to take some backup we can do that kind of functionality here for the timing i'm taking an empty okay uh then the last thing uh we can choose like uh, whether we have to enable docker containerization or not okay i'm enabling it okay and i will create it so very beautifully is created functions project for me now here our local setting dot json like on uh, other functions are serverless they can run over as what due to local like testing we have to do some settings that we can do here then one more thing is there host.json here we can set all the configurations which are which are related to all the functions now like let me create one uh, function for you i'm giving the function name like uh, http trigger Uh, I choose the HTTP trigger then authorization level basically in the other functions we have three kind of uh, authorization level one is anonymous like anyone can access second is function level to access that we need a function key for each function it has a separate key admin like there is one key at the host level which will use for all the functions for the timing I'm keeping as a function level let me add it very beautifully it's added. Uh, let me run it for the timing. I'm play, creating a lot of prosty for you. Let me show something very interesting. Let me run it. see the beautifully and greater one host for me with this host i can access the endpoint see how beautiful even we can we are able to see the telemetry so for the timing in this video that's it in the next video we will see how these functions we can deploy to as us Bye-bye for the timing.